it's Amy. I'm an environmental educator at the Environmental Learning Center in Bureau Beach, Florida. And today, I'm inviting you to take a closer look. When out exploring nature, even sometimes as close as your own backyard or neighborhood, you may come across a plant or animal and wonder, what is that? Identifying plants and animals can be a challenge, but there are many tools available to help. One great tool is a dichotomous key. A dichotomous key is made of a series of statements that each consists of two objects to describe something that can be observed about the plant or animal. The user must decide which statement best describes the plant or animal following the guide until the plant or animal is identified. One of the best ways to understand how a dichotomous key works is to practice making your own. To get started, gather a small collection of five or six items. These can be items you find around your house or in your yard or neighborhood. Think about the observable characteristics of each item and how you can use these characteristics to categorize the items into two groups. For example, is it red? Or maybe, is it made of plastic? Remember to focus only on what can be observed about the item in front of you. For example, you could say that this item is red or this item is made of wax. Now it's time to start making your key. Start with the first question that divides your items into two groups. For example, is the item red? Now set one of your groups aside. You will come back to this group after you've identified all the objects in your first group. Think about a question that divides your first group into two groups. For example, does the item have claws? Repeat this process until only one item is remaining in each group. When only one item is remaining in each group, that item can be identified. So users who have followed my dichotomous key will know that this object is a turtle. Once you have completed your dichotomous key, give it to a friend or family member to see if they can identify your objects using your key. Remember that identifying objects in nature takes time and practice. The more time you spend in nature closely observing the objects that you see, the better you will become. Thank you for joining me today. And I hope you have fun exploring nature near you as you take a closer look.